this video is created by Jagrat Creations. This video is useful for the students who are reading for intermediate CA, IPC or IPCC. It is also useful to the students who are reading for FIBCOM and other professional courses who has insurance claim for loss of stock as a chapter in their syllabus. I am going to solve here before you one sum. Before that, I will just give you hints for solving the sum that is the theory discussion relevant to the sum. Now, the name of the chapter Insurance Claim for Loss of Stock Due to Fire. We have taken an insurance policy for loss of stock due to fire. Fire has occurred. Stock is destroyed. We don't know exact amount of stock destroyed by fire because we have not counted stock existed just before one minute of occurrence of fire. So we are not knowing exact amount of stock destroyed by fire. So we have to estimate it. On the basis of estimated estimate of stock, we can file a claim for insurance before the insurance company. How to estimate this stock? For that, memoranda trading account is prepared. Memoranda trading account is exactly alike to trading account with following basic differences. Normal trading account is prepared for the whole accounting year while memoranda trading account is prepared till the date of fire, right from the beginning of the year till the date of fire, the trading account is prepared, that is memoranda trading account. Suppose that fire has occurred after 7 months, then you have to prepare a trading account for 7 months, that is memoranda trading account. Second thing, the purpose of normal trading account is to find out the gross profit. While here, the details of gross profit is available to us on the basis of past experience or on the basis of policy matters. So we have got the details of gross profit or we can identify the gross profit. So this memoranda trading account is prepared to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire, which is just allied to closing stock. So first difference trading account prepared for the whole year, memoranda trading account is prepared till the date of fire. Purpose of normal trading account is to find out the gross profit. Here the gross profit details are available. So purpose is to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire. So memoranda trading account is prepared to find out stock existed at the moment of fire. This is how the memoranda trading account is prepared till the date of fire. Another important point that this memoranda trading account is, is to be prepared at cost that to only for goods and for the operating activity. So opening stock is to be recorded at cost. Purchase of goods only is recorded and that to goods that for which the delivery has been received is to be recorded in this trading account. Wages are recorded for operating activities only that is carriage inward, material handling charges etc. Then sales, only those sales are recorded for which the goods have been delivered. Goods delivered at cost other than sales. Now, goods taken for personal use, goods given for charity, goods stolen. These are the goods outward. Similarly, goods given for to the consign under consignment activity, goods given for joint venture, goods sent to customer on sale or return basis or goods sent to customer on approval basis. So these are the various ways by which the goods go out of the go down that has to be recorded at cost or sometimes from purchases you can deduct goods taken for personal use, goods given for charity and you can find out the right the net purchases. But suppose if the goods are given to the consignee, it should not be deducted from purchases, it should be shown on the credit side of this statement 
on this side of this table. Now, after recording all these things, this sales multiplied by rate of gross profit. So you can find out the gross profit by applying percentage of profit to the sales. You will get, write the gross profit. The total of left say this side is complete. Now write this total on this side and find the missing item that is stock at the date of fire. This is one way by which we can find out the stock at the date of fire by preparing memoranda trading account. Alternatively, we can prepare the statement wherein all these details will be incorporated. How? Opening stock plus purchases plus wages. This is the total cost of goods available for sale minus cost of goods. So cost of goods sales minus gross profit. So here you will get the cost of goods. Goods delivered at cost other than sales. So if you deduct this, you will get the stock on the date of fire. This is how you can prepare a statement and find the stock at the moment of fire. Now let us start with the sum. This is the sum that I intend to solve. Read it carefully. Now let me say a few points about this sum. Stock, opening stock. That is at cost. Purchase includes purchase of machinery. So machinery is a capital expenditure that should be removed from 170,000. So 170 minus 30 will be recorded as purchases in this memorandum trading account. Wages include 3,000 installation charges. So 50,000 minus 3,000. They are the wages for operating activity. Sales includes goods. Sold on approval, 49,500. Now out of, the, out of that, no approval has been received for two-third of the goods. So two-third of the goods of two-third of 49,500 for with no approval has been received. So that stock is with the customer which has not yet been sold. So that is stock with customer. So no approval has been received. So two-third stock with the customer not in our godown so not subject to risk of fire so that will be recorded on the credit side at cost and the stock that has been the good sender approved 130 is approved that is known as exactly sales so it should be treated as sales value of stock salary is 12,300 you are required to compute the claim to be lodged to the insurance company now here I prepare memorandum trading account First I write stock, opening stock, 95,600, purchase is 1,70,000 minus 30,000, purchase of machinery is deducted, wages 50,000 minus 3,000, now sales includes 49,500, good sent on approval. Let me prepare a working note for that. So total sales. Out of that good sent on approval. 49,500. So normal sales is 275,000 minus 49,500 is the normal sales. Out of this good sent on approval. No approval has been received. So two-third not approved. So two-third goods are not approved. So 49,500 into two-third, these goods are not approved. So it is not a sales. While one-third is approved, so 49,000 into 500 into one-third, 16,500 has been approved, so it is sales. So this sales is exactly alike to this normal sales. Now this is the goods sent on approval at sales price not approved. So what is its cost? So in this, what is the profit element? So 33,000 into 20 percent, this is the profit element. So what is the cost of this good sent to the customer not approved? What is the cost of it? 33,000 minus 6,600. This is the stock with customer. This stock with customer will be recorded on the credit side of this trading account. And the total of these two numbers is known as normal sales that will appear here. So for 
टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड टू लैख फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड इज अ नॉर्मल सेल्स दिस इज हाउ सेल्स फॉर अप्रूवल इज कंसिडर द गुड नॉट अप्रूव कॉस्ट देर ऑफ इज आइडेंटिफाइड ऑन दिस साइड एट कॉस्ट and the sales goods approved is considered as sales and is included in sales this is an important note that you should understand now sales multiplied by gross profit 20% on sales so this is the gross profit now this total minus this so here you will get stock at the moment of fire the stock at the moment of fire is 62600 against that policy taken is 60000 so policy taken is 60000 so this is a case of under insurance when there is an under insurance out of the 62600 risk covered with the insurance company is 60000 risk not covered with the insurance company is 62600 minus 60000 So two thousand six hundred is the risk not covered. So what is the proportion of risk covered? So sixty thousand divided by sixty two thousand six hundred. This proportion shows the risk covered, and sixty two thousand six hundred minus sixty thousand divided by say this is the proportion of risk that has been not covered. On the basis of this risk covered. The application of proportion of risk covered to the loss is known as application of average clause. So, if you want to find out the claim, this is the stock existing at the moment of fire. How much stock is salvaged? Twelve thousand three hundred. So, this is the loss by fire. Now, this loss by fire is to be applied with this percentage to find out the amount of claim. So, in short value. Sixty thousand divided by sixty-two thousand six hundred. This is the proportion of risk covered, multiplied by fifty thousand three hundred. So this is the claim that we expect from the insurance company to be covered against this loss. So against the loss of fifty thousand three hundred, we will get a claim from insurance company forty-eight thousand two hundred and eleven approximately under average clause. So this. proportion of risk covered and not covered the application of proportion of risk covered to the loss is known as application of average clause this is how the claim amount is worked out i think that you have followed this sum thanks to all of you